Hello everyone, and welcome to Iron Hand Tech. Today we're diving into a fascinating and crucial journey in the battle against waste, recycling old fabrics. But before we get into the nitty gritty of each stage, let's take a quick look at some eye-opening numbers to understand the current situation better. Every year, around 92 million tons of textile waste are dumped into the environment globally. That's equivalent to a truckload of old clothes being discarded every second. And here's the kicker. Most of it will never fully decompose, especially synthetic fabrics like polyester. Those old shirts we forget about could outlive an entire generation. Textile waste doesn't just take up space in landfills, it also significantly contributes to environmental pollution, from contaminating the soil to polluting groundwater and even the air. According to a report by the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, EPA, an estimated 11.3 million tons of textile waste ended up in landfills in the United States in 2018 alone, making up 7.7% of all municipal solid waste. Meanwhile, a report by the World Bank shows that the textile and fashion industry is responsible for around 20% of global industrial water pollution. The production of new fabrics also consumes a vast amount of resources, such as thousands of liters of water to produce just one cotton shirt, not to mention the energy and chemicals involved. So what is fabric recycling? Simply put, it's the process of turning old, outdated, or damaged clothing into new products or, at the very least, recycling materials to be used in other industries. Fabric recycling not only helps reduce waste, but also saves resources and minimizes environmental impact. In today's video, we'll go through the entire process from collecting old clothes, through processing, to transforming them into new products. And most importantly, we'll explore the modern machinery used in each stage and why they're so vital. Get ready to discover a world we rarely see, but one that plays a crucial role in our everyday lives. The first step in the fabric recycling journey is collection. Have you ever wondered where all those old shirts and ripped jeans go when we no longer need them? Don't worry, not all of them end up in the landfill. Old clothes are collected from various sources, households, fashion stores, and charitable organizations. Some people choose to donate their old clothes to those in need, while others drop them into recycling bins scattered throughout cities. There are even regular clothing collection events to encourage people to participate. Once collected, the clothes are sent to sorting facilities. This is a critical step in the recycling process. Here the clothes are sorted based on material, color, and condition. Fabrics like cotton, polyester, wool, and silk are separated because each type requires a different recycling process. To do this, both modern technology and human labor are used. Optical scanners and sensors are among the key tools that help automatically sort items based on color and material. These scanners can detect and sort thousands of items in just minutes, a task nearly impossible if done manually. However, in many cases, manual sorting is still necessary, especially for complex fabrics or items with multiple layers of different materials. Why is such detailed sorting necessary? Because each type of fabric undergoes a different recycling process, and accurate sorting optimizes this process. If a polyester shirt is mixed with a pile of cotton, the recycling process will face difficulties, leading to lower quality or even unusable final products. Sorting is not just a preparatory step. It's a decisive factor in the success of the entire recycling process. After sorting, the clothes undergo pre-processing before being recycled. You can imagine that old clothes aren't always clean and ready to be recycled immediately. They need to be cleaned and have any unwanted parts removed. 
The first step is cleaning. This isn't as simple as doing laundry at home. It's a complex industrial process. Industrial washing machines are designed to handle large volumes of clothing at once, using strong water pressure and specialized detergents to remove dirt, grease, and other contaminants. Some modern technologies even use biological enzymes to break down organic stains, making the cleaning process more efficient without needing excessive chemicals. Next is the removal of unwanted components like buttons, zippers, and other metal accessories. This step is crucial because if these parts remain during recycling, they could damage the machinery or reduce the quality of the final product. After pre-processing, the old fabric is ready for the fiber processing stage. This is where your old clothes start to transform into new materials. The first step is shredding. The old fabric is fed into an industrial shredder where it's torn into small fibers. This shredder is like a giant metal monster with sharp blades spinning at high speeds, tearing everything into fibers. These fibers are then separated by material using a fiber separator, which helps accurately classify the fibers so they can be easily recycled into new products. The fiber separator is one of the essential tools in this process. It helps separate different types of fibers without damaging their structure. This process requires high precision and speed because time is a critical factor in industrial production. Once separated, the recycled fibers are moved to the next stage of fiber processing. Here, the small fibers are combined to create new threads through a spinning machine. This machine is similar to a weaving machine, but with much greater capacity, capable of spinning thousands of meters of thread in an hour. This process requires a perfect balance between speed and durability, as if the fibers are spun too quickly, they'll break, but if too slowly, the process won't be efficient. Spinning machines are designed to ensure that each thread produced is of consistent quality and strong enough to be used in new products. However, processing recycled fibers isn't always straightforward. Some fibers, like polyester, need to be melted before they can be spun into new threads. The melting machine operates at very high temperatures, liquefying the polyester fibers before molding them into new threads. After being processed into new threads, we move on to the weaving stage. This is where the recycled threads are turned into new fabric sheets, ready for various applications. The industrial weaving machine is the heart of this stage. With modern weaving machines, thousands of threads are connected and woven into large sheets of fabric in just a few hours. These machines can weave at incredible speeds, but without sacrificing precision. Every thread, every stitch is carefully calculated to ensure the final product's quality. Once the fabric sheet is woven, it goes through the finishing stage. This stage includes several smaller steps, from cutting, sewing, dyeing, to the final quality check. Automatic cutting machines help cut the fabric into smaller pieces, ready for the sewing or further processing steps. Dyeing is also an essential process. The dyeing machine uses special dyes to create fabrics with bright and durable colors, this not only makes the recycled fabric more attractive, but also makes it suitable for various applications, from fashion to industry. So after all these complex steps, what can recycled fabric be used for? The answer is a lot of things. Recycled fabric can be used to produce new clothing, textile products, carpets, insulation materials, and even in construction. With each sheet of recycled fabric, we not only reduce waste, but also save resources and energy compared to producing new fabric from raw materials. Moreover, with technological advancements, recycling old fabric is becoming more efficient and environmentally friendly. Research is focusing on developing enzymes and bacteria that can quickly and safely decompose fabric, 
opening the door to new recycling methods. The future of fabric recycling is bright. With efforts from scientists, engineers, and even consumers, we can hope for a world where old clothes are no longer a burden on the environment, but a valuable resource that drives the circular economy and protects our green planet. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to support our channel. Until next time, goodbye and see you in the next video.